Now, Uttarakhand gets a new chief minister, Pushkar Singh Dhami, all set to take oath as Uttarakhand's chief minister. Oath-taking ceremony will take place at 5 p.m. at the Raj Bhavan. Dhami will become the 11th chief minister of the state and the third in just the last four months. Dhami has been on courtesy meet run since this morning. First, he met with Tirat Singh Rawat, then B.C. Khanduri. Meanwhile, after reports of some MLAs miffed over Dhami's elevation, Dhami met with Satpal Maharaj to quell his anger as he, along with Harak Singh Rawat and Yashpal Arya, stormed out of the Legislative Party meeting yesterday. Speaking to India today, some MLAs have denied displeasure over party choosing Dhami as the new chief minister. Dhami's appointment comes just months before the state goes to polls. The change of guards here took place right after former Chief Minister Thirat Singh Rawat resigned on Friday late night in just to avert con in fact just to avert any constitutional crisis that may arise considering that he was not an elected MLA and if he had to be re-elected it would have taken a few months time even longer than the actual assembly elections itself in the state. Uskar Singh Dhami एक युवा तेज तरार शिक्षित नौजवान है पार्टी ने उनको बागडोर सौंपी है तो निश्चित रूप से कोई अच्छा परिवर्तन दिखाई देगा चुनाव जिस तरीके से लड़ना है वो चिंतन बैठक में तय किया गया है और वो लाइन पर ही हम चलेंगे केवल चेहरा बदला है मुख्यमंत्री का बाकी सोच वही है जो भाजपा की है दूसरे विधायकों के बारे में मैं कुछ नहीं कह सकता हूं लेकिन जहां तक मेरी जानकारी है शायद ही कोई विधायक इस बात को लेकर के नाराज हो हमारी एक अनुशासित पार्टी है और सब लोग एक अनुशासन के अंदर काम करते हैं मुझे नहीं लगता है कि किसी को किसी तरह की कोई दिक्कत पुष्कर सिंह धामी जी से हो अब देखिए नाराजगी तो कोई बात ही नहीं होनी चाहती पार्टी संगठन सर्वोपरि है संगठन सरकार को बनाता है न कि सरकार संगठन बनाता है इसलिए किसी भी विधायक को नाराज होने की आवश्यकता भी नहीं है नाराज होना भी नहीं चाहिए अपने प्रति अपनी जिम्मेदारी का निर्वहन करें अपने कार्य क्षेत्र में काम करें भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने उत्तराखंड के अंदर राजनीतिक अस्थिरता फैलाने का काम किया और मैं समझता हूँ कि आज वो तमाम साथी आहत है इस बात से लेकर के कि जिस तरीके से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने उनके नेतृत्व को आहत करने का काम किया है तो इसीलिए नए मुख्यमंत्री के बनने पर जो है भाजपा में जो है वो गुटबंदी उभर करके सामने आ रही है do take us through the dissent that's now brewing within Uttarakhand unit over the new chief minister that's been nominated by the BJP High Command. It's natural that dissent would arise, but is it strong enough for the party to intervene now? And that's exactly why, you know, Dushan Gautam, the observers from the BJP has been sent there so to speak to those MLA, those who are having dissent. And perhaps when there were certain reports that these leaders will rush to Delhi and, of course, uh, they'll directly talk to the high command in the BJP. But remember, since yesterday and till today, what has changed that almost all those rebels or perhaps those who have descended with this new face uh, of the Uttarakhand from the BJP are still there. And that is now their, you know, the party leadership, uh, the observer level, the in-charge, they all are speaking to them. When we heard the Harak Singh Rawat, Satpal Maharaj, uh, and all these leaders will come to Delhi, so far that did not happen. At the same time, uh, if you hear the Congress party, and if you remember 2016, this was exactly the month of July and August, right five years ago. So this is what is happening in Uttarakhand is almost a deja vu what has happened in 2016 when that was, at uh, that time, the Congress was in power, 2017, the election was due, and then there was rebel inside the uh, Congress party. And 11 MLAs, including uh, these, you know, uh, those who joined BJP later, all they rebelled against the Congress, and they joined later BJP, they formed the government, and again, because there are ambitions, these leaders, uh, given uh, you know the youth face being uh, made a chief minister, though this is the third time, third chief minister in five years, one uh, tenure in Uttarakhand, they had clearly ambitions. And when then ambitions are high and they are the senior leaders, not given chance, not uh, parties, not you know uh, uh, fulfilling their expectations, and that is somewhere we seems to be a point of uh, trigger where this dissent has come out in openly. Remember, Uttarakhand perhaps would be the only state 
where the you know the escalation level is so high that they are not even ready to attend uh, the oath ceremony of a new chief minister but we are hearing from the sources that parties trying to convene them most of them uh, will be accommodated there could be perhaps entirely you know a new face in the cabinet of course it's only going to be for 6 month but the game is game has just begun in uttarakhand ashutosh and we see that already dissent brewing with